Tonight on Newswire LA, the cast of Nouveau TV's A Step Away. All of this and more coming up right after the credits. Hi, and welcome to Newswire LA. I'm your host, Chin Thomas Angsey. This week, we're taking a break from the usual hard news and politics we cover, and we're going to focus on the world of entertainment. Joining us this week will be richgirlnetwork.tv's Joy Paris. Many of you know Joy from all of the A-list events and red carpet events held throughout Hollywood. Well, she's bringing some of those reports to Newswire LA, and we're excited to have her. So without further ado, let's find out where Joy is this week. Well, Joy is with the cast of Nouveau TV's A Step Away. The show chronicles the lives and exploits of the dance troupe who accompany superstar Jennifer Lopez on her various tours. The show, executive produced by Lopez, focuses the spotlight not on her, but her troupe. She also showcases their talents, hopes, and dreams for what's to come. And now, let's turn it over to our Joy Paris. Hi, I'm Shannon Holtzupfel, and I'm from A Step Away, and Australia. That's a mouthful, that last name. Just think like, what's up, fool? Holtzupfel. <laughs> I like that. And I'm Lake Smith, I'm from Hawaii, also a part of the cast from A Step Away. What is it like working together as a team? It's, it's a brotherhood, honestly. Um, we just keep it real, we love what we do, we're very professional, and... If there's something that needs to get done, we know how to do it. And we enjoy working for Jennifer Lopez. Okay. Yeah, and thanks to her, she's brought a great team together. and We get along so well and work professionally mm -hmm. together so well. And uh, yeah, she just brought together a great team that um, has made this show happen. Mm -hmm. We've all come together to really make it happen. I feel like it's been a real collaborative effort. Yeah. yeah. Tell us what the show is about. The show is about following the lives of dancers on tour. So it's a docu-series, it's not a reality show, so to speak. And the cameras just happen to be there while we're working and living our life the way that we do on tour. Yeah. And it captured every moment naturally. Yeah, exactly what he said. It's a follow doc, so us traveling, us behind the stage on our days off, you know? Anytime the camera's there, you're, you're going to see it and follow our lives and what we experienced for the six months. Being yeah. On all the challenges, the ups and downs, it's all there for us to, like, be on your journey with you. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And, and what makes this special is that y there's no show that's ever really covered the real life of a dancer. Yep. There's a lot of dance competition shows, mm -hmm. but what's great about this is you actually see a real life of what we have to deal with. And yeah, not so much all the rock and roll, right. but the hard work. What do you do for downtime? How do you just sort of like mellow out and go, okay, let me take a moment? On the, on the road, it's really hard actually to find that moment because if we're not working, we're traveling to another country. We're in a different country every day. So our downtime is really relaxing and having a good time on the tour bus or the private plane or um, that's really... You know, it's what do you do? It, there's goods and bads to it because when you're off, sometimes you just want to sleep. But then at the same time, it's like, oh, I'm in this beautiful place. I'm in Paris. I'm in Brazil. I'm like, I got to get out of this. I got to get out of this place, you know, and see it. Exactly. Yeah, so uh, definitely if we get a spare moment to hopefully see the city we're in, we, I can guarantee we pretty all are good at getting out yeah. and seeing something special, getting some culture on board. We had a, we had a lot of great um, moments together. What is the one thing that you each took away on a personal note. What did you gain from this experience? Ooh, I mean, for, for me, it's, I don't know. I learned a lot um, 
how to work professionally on this camp and with a different camp. Uh, I think I, I feel like appreciating what you do and what you have as well because, you know, you go to these shows and you go to these third world countries and you see how people live and people can't even afford to go see Jennifer Lopez, you know what I mean? So the fact that we get to work for her and travel with her and see these beautiful places is honestly a blessing and we're thankful for it. Can you share the funniest moment uh, that you've experienced so far with the show? The funniest moment? I have a problem. Oh, maybe funny or embarrassing or yeah. both. I don't know. I have um, a problem remembering what happened on tour, actually. I get reminded when I see the show. But I feel like what? Jakarta was, was oh, my... Okay. That's a good moment. He's <laughs> right. Jakarta, definitely. You want to talk about no, that? You, I mean, you, 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 you okay. remembered it. So, you know, we're in Jakarta, third world country. We get to our hotel and everyone's tired and we're, we're, we just want to relax. So we go and, and, and we turn on the water, everyone turns on the water, and the water's brown. <laughs> the water's brown, and we're like, where are we? What's happening? Yeah, we couldn't have a clean shower. We couldn't we have could... a clean shower. Yeah. Isn't it amazing the things you take for granted, right? It, exactly, like water. Oh my God, it was brown, like really brown, brown? It was poo water. And I, I, first, I mean, and you go in there thinking like it's just your room, and then you're hitting everyone else up there like, mine's brown too. <laughs> And all we wanted to do was get clean because we just traveled across the ocean. Exactly. <laughs> Can I just get a clean shower? That's fantastic, guys. Can you tell us a little bit about when you started the Love for Dance? And what, I'm not, you don't have to say your age, but like when did it happen for you, this whole, oh, I love this, this is dancing, and this is my life? Uh, I can say I'm lucky because I found that straight away in my life. As soon as I could walk, I kind of gravitated towards that. Um, I saw Michael Jackson playing on MTV. My parents would be playing that all the time. And then mm. I tried to do the moonwalk as, you know, at the age of two or whatever. And then eventually they threw me in a dance class. So I was inspired by Michael Jackson and um, even Gene Kelly on film. Right. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I have the same story, Michael Jackson being inspired, watching him. And I think it's one of those things, like once you experience it, you be on, you're on stage and you do a performance and you get that feeling, it just doesn't end. You mm -hmm. always have that passion for it. That's fantastic. Before we end, words of inspiration for young acts, dancers that might want to do what you do, what would you say to them? I would say, of course, the most obvious thing, work hard. Yes. Don't think you're gonna be a superstar straight away because a lot of these competition shows can be deceiving just yeah. by competition. You know, you're not exactly gonna, it's about the hard work and uh, what yeah. you do outside of these things. And also being, for me, would be, Pay attention to a lot more teachers or dancers, not just one. Make sure uh, you've got a good variety and versatility yeah. is very important. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Just try to educate yourself. You know, obviously work hard, like he said, but you have to just keep doing it now and because you're young. You're young. Mm -hmm. I just want to say you're young, so do it now. A dance career is a short-lived one. So work hard and learn everything that you can now so that when you're older and it's time to work professionally, you'll be ready. I'm Shannon. I'm Lake. And we're from A Step Away. And you can watch it on Nuvo TV. On October 3rd. At 10 p.m. Yeah. Thursday. <laughs> yes. And then, and then Hulu. And then <laughs> Great, guys. Thank you so much. I can't wait to see this show. And I really enjoy talking with you. Thanks for your time. Pleasure. Thanks. Thank you. Hi, I'm Kat Rendick from A Step Away. Okay. Hi, I'm Gilbert Saldivar, also from A Step Away. It's been extremely exciting to be on the road, but it's been, for me, it's been a year of a lot of growth. Um, I feel like I've learned a lot about myself and I've learned a lot from my peers and it's been an amazing year in that aspect. Um, but just being on stage and sharing the stage with everybody and with Jennifer has been, of course, amazing. So that's made it exciting. Every other show is just... I can't wait to get on stage with everybody. I think for me, it's been um, it's been really cool to watch my friends um, blossom into these mm -hmm. amazing people. It's almost like we saw each other f become from children to adults. You know, we all did a lot of growing, a lot of growing, mm -hmm. a lot of connecting, um, a lot of self exploring. I know personally for myself, um, it was a powerful tour for all of us. It's a really bizarre dynamic because in no other situation would you ever be with 
so many people every day of your life. Like, I spend more time with them than I do with my own family, my closest friends. So to get into the, the dynamic of understanding each other, of, of knowing, like, you know, so-and-so needs a space right now. Okay, no, that's the person I can... Like, you have to kind of learn those things about everybody. It's funny to know how much we know about each other and we've learned just from spending so much time. So that's what's kind of made us a family, and, and we've learned to just... You argue sometimes, but there's yeah. so much love amongst it yeah. all that we all know that anything that's ever said is always for a positive outcome. Right. Fantastic. Yeah. Just like a family, you love hard, you fight hard, Absolutely. but it makes you closer, you know? And I, I think all of us are really passionate people. Yeah. yeah. Right. So <laughs> when you fight, it's like, but no! But then the moments of happiness and love is like, I love you! Like, it's just, it, that's how everybody is, and it's so great. I mean, you are only two girls in this entire oh. thing, so even, I don't even want to know what that must be like, right? I feel so, bad. You've got to share with us. It feels kind of li kind of like we're amongst a frat, like a fraternity. Yeah. yeah, they're like competitive, and they're boys, and, we're and like, they're shirtless. Yeah, and they're always arguing with each other and joking with each other, and Tara and I just kind of sit back and watch the whole thing. We're like, oh. you almost don't want to say too much, because then they'll pick on you yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. So we're like... I don't want to be a part of it, but... And there goes cat <laughs> flying across the room. <laughs> and, and they say we're catty, right? Mm. Oh, no, no, I... They, they say girls bicker, but, well, we... Tara and I caught back to Wait, mm. no, so we get... So we leave the shows, right? We leave the shows, and it's time to go out to go celebrate and see in the city, see a city or something. The girls get dressed up and glammed up, <laughs> and the guys are, like, one by one. It's, like, 20 minutes later. Oh, there was, like, the, yeah, we're, they like, uh... I think um, Tara and I also are very, like chill yeah so we we like to sit back and, and not be and a like, part of it yeah yeah the energy's always up it's always fun but um on the other side it, it's great to to share the stage with Tara and to be the only two girls because I think it's made it a lot more special I feel like I have eight brothers that have my back like yeah, I was just about to say, oh, must yeah. be having like this oh, whole yeah. group of guys supporting you. What a great feeling is that, like having a second family. Absolutely. And um, my favorite was like going out with the boys. Like it was so different. I, at home, I'm, I'm a girl's girl. Like I have like a group of like nine girlfriends. So yeah. it was so cool to always be out with just the boys. It was yeah. such a different experience. I think what's interesting about me and Kat though is that like, uh, when she first moved to LA, like I was one of the first people that you know, like I was like, wow, this girl's amazing. Well, I I'm, moved into his house. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, I used to, I, I, I used to rent out rooms to dancers. I had a big house, and I would, yeah. and actually another one of the dancers, Jose, also with another friend of ours, Willie. Um, who's doing another tour, another amazing dancer. Um, they all moved into my house, and so they, they quickly became a family. Oh my God. So yeah. to now We've fast forward. We've been friends for a long time, like brother. Uh, yeah, brother. yeah. Like another reality show right there, right? Yeah. The house with the dancers? Yeah. You never know, right? <laughs> And you know, uh, Jose, <laughs> Jose Gilbert and I are all Latin, so. Latinos, yeah. Oh. Yeah, oh. so we, you know. She's from Chile, I'm from Mexico. You know, they have all that fiery Latino blood, right? Oh, so yeah. So it's Puerto Rico, Mexico, and Chile. Chile, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's nice to, like, um, to, I lived with Gilbert for a minute, then we kind of didn't see each other for a long time because I was touring, he was touring, we were always doing different things. So to have that, like, when I found out that we were both doing this together, I was like, oh, my God, we get to be together again every day. Like, it, yeah, it was really amazing. You guys work so hard. So talk to me about your rehearsal schedule and, and the physicality of what you do. I think um, it's pretty consistent through every dance job that you have an eight hour, sometimes it goes to 10 hour rehearsals, mm -hmm. especially when it's close to taking off. It was like off. a month or two of prepping the show. And, and sometimes it's six days a week, wow. and sometimes it'll go into all seven, seven days yeah. of eight to 10 hour rehearsals. The, the most excruciating and difficult um, part of touring on your body is mm -hmm. rehearsing. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, they're like, do that. No, that didn't work. Do this. Do this again. And you're, like, trying so many different options, and you're exhausting your body. People always get injured during yeah. rehearsal. It's right. the toughest. Once you get into touring, it's a little easier. You just got to be smart. You know, you're traveling, it, and you're it, not. There's a different kind of uh, uh, tough, because now it's a toughness of, I just got off of a plane. Um, I need to make sure I stay he healthy, right. get to the gym. And right. You're it's, eating yeah. in countries that you don't understand even what's on the menu. It's yeah. such a. That's yeah. Right. Yeah, yes. all of us have actually toured before, so I think we, this tour for me was already, I felt like I was more of a pro at that, so I, I felt like I did a good job at taking care of my body, but it's funny, like, now when I go to an audition, I'm, like, dying, and I feel so out of shape, yeah. because you go from doing an hour and a half show yeah. to doing nothing, and then you're, like, trying to dance again, and you're like, holy 
But I mean, you'll see, you'll see in the show though. Like Cat had an injury. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, even, no matter how much you take care of yourself, your body, your body, your body's gonna speak louder than you. Yeah, you, you think you're, you think you're a superhero, but <laughs> your body's gonna tell you, wait, you're doing too much. You know? There's so many elements to it that you can never be in control right. of everything. You yeah. know? When it's raining and you're dancing and. In rain, in rain yeah. and you know sometimes exactly. the stage yeah it's just I think yeah. this show will probably show a great appreciation I mean I appreciate dancers I know the work you guys put in I think the audience lay people they love what the end of craft yeah. but they don't see all the struggle and the work and as you said on your body you know which is very challenging that's why we were really excited too about this because we felt like it would really open the doors to a behind-the-scenes look to what it is yeah. Yeah, to have this career, not to be a dancer, to take dance class, because, you know, a lot of people dance. I feel like dance is so universal. Everybody dances. But to have this as a career is actually, it's a lot, and it's... it's it shows us as, as athletes, absolutely. which is what I think we've been dying for the world to see. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because we, we, you know, we don't get those campaigns, and we don't get all, all, we, all we get is this I little... You, yeah, well, I mean... But it's weird because we, what we do is such an art that yeah. it's hard to look at it. I think if people were like, oh, you're just athletes, I would be like, wait a second. Yeah. You know? And it's, so, it's nice to find, like, the balance for people to really see the athletic part of yeah. it, but also see the artistry, you know, how yeah. you touch people. What is so passionate for you as a dancer? Tell me. Uh, I mean, starting this, I never, ever thought about touching people. It was just for me. Like, I loved dancing, and I loved how it made me feel. Um, but the more and more I do it, the more I get emails and, and messages and on every social media. Like, I want to be like you, and it starts to, like, mm -hmm. turn it into a different perspective, and, and you take it even yeah. Uh, it's even more special, you know. You you love what you're doing. You're actually making people love what you're doing, making people want to love it too. It's just such yeah. a beautiful, powerful thing. There's two moments that, that that come come to my mind, and one of them is sitting. Uh, I, I started a dance studio a year ago with the help of Cat and Jose as well, actually, and it's parallel the tour. It started right when we started the tour, um, and all these little kids. I remember sitting in a room and just speaking to them, and they were just so thankful that I did this for them. And I didn't even do much. My little sister's running the studio, but just the fact that I share my energy and teach them class, and they just want to do what you're doing. So every day they're in class and they're begging their parents who don't have a lot of money to, you know, to, to, to bring them to class. And, they, and, and it's because they're watching you and they're so in awe of your, of your art, you know? And another moment that, that touches on that question is a man, I forget what city it was, but you'll see it in the show, if not in the film, um, where he said he left the concert. He was an Asian man may have been the Philippines, and he said, my culture forgets about love. We, we, we work. We work first, love comes second. He said, but Jennifer Lopez's show is all about love, and you guys are all about love, and so now I go home to my wife, and I have an, a second chance at love. You know what I mean? So to be able to go around the world spreading love because we love what we're doing is an awesome feeling. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. I can't wait to see the show, and I'm excited to tune in. I will. It is, uh, it's Nouveau TV. It's October 3rd, and it's on Thursday nights at 10 p.m. Every, Every Thursday, starting October 3rd. All right. Yeah? I'm there. Awesome. Dancers. Okay. I will. Thank you.